going live? Uh, we're going live. Oh, we are going live. All right, sweet. Nice timing. So we've already had the knife round, so this is going to be the first pistol. Phase and CT side, heroic on the tees. Again, you have delays or any sync issues, refresh the stream. And this match ultimately is for top place in the groups. Of course, we do have still have plenty of CS coming up throughout the rest of tonight, so it's not necessarily going to stay that way, but this would give one team a great opportunity to qualify at 2-0. and oh. Heroic picking up quite a bit of utility. Actually, have a Molotov and a Smoke in the hands of Valda yeah. and Snappy, respectively, so it looks like they are going to be moving towards B for the time being. Yeah, I hope to see a really juicy late round Molly coming out from Valde. Surprising he gets the, the nade set as well, being that it sounded like he was the, the superstar on the team. Yeah, he is a, a real talent. Just Kiyoshima, or Kyo, on B. Has he actually officially changed his name to just Kyo, or is he still Kiyoshima? I, I always get I guess so. Things. They actually had him change his name earlier because his name was Super Kyo. <laughs> Super and Kyo. admins did not like that. <laughs> but yeah, I guess this, he's changed it. Oh, speaking of Kyo. He's not going to get any kills just yet, but he's doing a lot of damage, plus the HE that went out earlier. The bomb has got planted, and now Valda's going to try and come off the bomb and do some damage. The room off phase are completely running through Heroic. Snappy's going to try and wrap himself around the back of the CTs, and this is God's work by Valda. He's keeping his team in this one. I was going to say, every frag that goes down buys up Snappy that little bit more time. Alu's now spotted him and connects the headshot. That is going to be phase taking the first round. But again, Heroic with a bomb plant. Unlikely to see a full-on buy in the next round. Maybe the next one after that. Yeah, nice try by Heroic there. They had like an awesome strat. They ended up using the molly on connector, which is going to stop CTs from rotating. They had that deep smoke in between uh, the back connector train. And they actually planted on the right side of the bomb train. So like it had potential for an easy clutch if it happened to came down to a close situation. So... We're, we're paused. BM by modern. Alu has to go to the toilet. Brilliant. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's alright. I'm paused coming in quite pretty quickly. Modi, they asked how long. Modi's like 10 minutes. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> They're all trolling right now. Please, yeah. no, don't do this to me. They're all trolling. So, only a P250 in this round, actually. You'd see quite a few teams maybe electing for a smoke or two or a flash and just trying to get that bomb site down on B. But Heroic are playing very disciplined. Just one P250, not getting too greedy into this round. Of course, it's in the hands of all the, the guy that you're expecting to see pick up some frags. Yeah, it's surprising. Like, not too often do you see Glocks. Like, the $300 P250 can be insane sometimes, but they're just going fully Glock. Kyo's going to go for the spray with the UMP, then he got one, two, and a third, although Alu did take one from underneath him. USP is going to be whipped out, and Snappy has himself the UMP to try and retaliate in kind, but he's battling against aim punch the whole way, and Kiyoshima with three kills will put phase at two and zero. Kyo with three kills, three assists, solid work, and his, here's where the buy comes in, and as a result of their discipline, they're going to have more nades across the board. This is a solid buy, actually, heroic. I mean, considering there's an MP9 in the UMP in play, they may even have a, a more solid buy, although FaZe do have an AWP in fairness in the hands of Alu. Yeah, interesting to see how Kyo uh, and Rain use these SMGs right now. So they're going to go up close. Rain actually going to be in the ladder room, so using up close range, the MP9 is going to be deadly here. Meanwhile, Kyo's got went super aggressive through ramp, so both SMG is having the idea of a, a ruthless aggression to try and subdue the enemy. Take some AKs away from their corpses. Meanwhile, there is a bit of IV control coming in. It's going to be Valda with his AK. Walking yeah, I, a lot of I love right the now. way they're taking IV control. Like, you smoke off one side and you molly the other. So, like, there's literally no chance of CD can peek you there because, you know, the one side's on fire and the other side's a smoke. So, if you run through the smoke, you're going to get mollied. So, it's just a really good way to deny IV control to the CTs. Uh, Rook could play this one slow. I thought. To start off with, it may seem more of an aggressive play once Kyo sh showed his uh, position up on ramp if they try and wrap him round and take him down for the B execute. Instead, slow plays. Very centralized on A as well. Carrigan's given up Ivy. So this is putting a lot of eggs in the basket that Horok have no one up in the Ivy right now. It looks like they're going to be okay with that. Modi going to be playing out first. 
As Carrigan has a whole bunch of terrorists coming his way for mass double spray on point. Nico in the meanwhile answers back with his AK-47, but that's going to be Alu that claims his life. And FaZe are looking so good for a 3-0. It's going to take a mammoth play by Snappy now. He's in a 1-on-4. Has the AK in the bomb. And a frag. And got that pretty clean. Just 9 health has been lost in the process, but Alu doesn't care. The AWP is all he needs. 3-0. to oh. Heroic. Back to square one. Yeah, I mean, FaZe right there didn't really feel too pressured. They kind of had control. Like, Kerrigan ended up just spraying two through a tiny little choke point. Um, Rain was holding close ladder room, so... I, I would have liked to actually to see Heroic execute there, just dry with no smokes. They kind of just showed their, their cards before they went out, and I think they should have just, like, walked out middle, and they would have had a better go of it, just gunning out with their AKs. Yeah, it does seem like you, you almost telegraph that push as soon as the smokes and flashes start to land. Yeah, especially you know, when you don't have that good of a game being executed. Yeah. Oh, Keo is slow. Needs to be careful on the retreat. Using the little ledge to cushion his fall so he doesn't die. And Herak don't have a great deal into this one, but with Keo being low, knowing that he is typically one of only potentially two B defenders. This could certainly give Heroic a, a whiff of success. Yeah, I mean, they just need to bomb down this round for sure. And it looks like they're just going to be walking back to to middle here. But I do not see a bomb point happening. You have one flash on Valde, and that is, that is it. That is all they have to hope on. Absolutely. That one flashbang could open up a gateway through an ivy and that appears to be where the majority of horror are going right now in actual fact all four of them with Valda just lagging behind a little bit with the flash they're gonna to need to wait for him to catch up before any plays come to fruition 28 seconds though so they're leaving this one close and there is the peak that they didn't want to see Carrigan is hot flashing lands in an all four plays gonna go for the quadruple spray down not gonna happen but rain will bag himself two kills and phase with a comfortable 4-0 Horok will have another bite it's gonna be there Chance to maybe start to lift the deadlock. Yeah, good little tag team there from Kerrigan and Rain. Kerrigan sprays down two, steps back, lets Rain get the next two. Uh, easy cleanup for them. Both teams have an AWP. It's the first time we've seen Harak with an AWP so far. And look at this aggression. Interestingly enough, they go hyper aggressive with the AWP behind them. Moddy is going to go down first. In the meanwhile, Carrigan's going to get himself a molly kill, and Aze's trying to spray through the smoke. So even though it has been planted, it's not necessarily looking too fantastic, because AZ and Valdo on the wrong side of the smoke, the flash is connecting as well, the spray comes through, it's all on rain now, it's gone horribly wrong for FaZe. It's a one on one maybe he can pull this one off, he spins around, but Valda is going to force him to land on his neck, and Hurok finally do pick up a round, and it's kind of an orthodox when you consider they had an AWP in play. That was amazing by Mordi. He actually popped himself through the right side of the, the bomb train. Ended up just killing three instantly there and then clutching the, that last kill on top of the sixth train, grabbing a 4k. And yeah, that is a big round to win for Mordi. Hopefully they can transfer that into another round here so they don't get reset. Even though FaZe have got four rounds in a row, with this double up, this leaves them fairly scarce in terms of grenades. Uh, for the next round, if they were to lose this, I mean, actually, two players may not be even be able to buy. Kiyoshima and Carrigan are very low. This is a heavy investment. This could be Heroic's way back into this. But double ops, of course, offer so much on a map like Train. You've got Carrigan watching Ivy, and Alu is watching Ramp on B. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable Heroic's right now. Oh, well, Alu has spotted Freeze coming down the ramp. There's one. Not. A second kill on the cars just yet as Keo takes that from under him. Should be a second one here. Snappy has been tagged. Does actually return fire with the orb that was picked up from Freeze, I believe. And now this grenade could do a serious amount of damage onto both Valda and Modi, but doesn't actually connect. So this is now in a position where maybe Heroic can pull this one off. Although Valda has been found out and killed. Snappy, probably the man alongside Modi to make something happen here. And Modi's been caught as he tries to move in, as will Snappy, and FaZe will get back to winning ways, and keep both orcs in play, so very important round, and they come out pretty easily in the end.
Yeah, that got a little bit scary there when AZ decided to just rush out connector and just kind of put his guard down to the opera that was at lower ramp posted. And that got a little bit scary because, you know, either Alu didn't communicate that there was an opera on lower ramp holding connector or AZ was just, you know, a little bit too impatient and just jumped out. But that's a super popular play for an opera just to post and cut those rotates off. Got a little bit scary, but uh, a good retake from phase. And double ops coming into play. You can see how much that stings Rorok as well. Not a single bit of equipment, not a single gun picked up. Because they're going to be ducking underneath the, the spray. Here comes Kyo. There's one. Throwing out the incendiary will funnel the, the terrorist into his aim. The call will come through. We've seen at least two players. So they know it's going to be this kind of a full on rush. Bomb in the hands of Freeze. For how much longer is the question? The answer a resounding no to this push. Ali with the next kill. And next up to. Catwalk will be Nico. And indeed, he will go down. So, a clear cut round. Kyo with four kills, but it was a full Nico he's up against. Yeah, I mean, they're not damaging Phase's economy at all, just having five Glocks, but they are saving themselves some extra cash to work with. So, on their actual big buy rounds, they're actually having a good chance to, to win them. But it's just so strange seeing five Glocks on the board in CSGO. Moddy with the bond, 007, unfortunately. Player that you're expecting to see something from. Maybe he can turn this one around back in his favor. AC goes out and gets a flash. As thanks. Carrigan and Alu both coming in with big AWP kills. Here is the power of the double AWPs. In a nutshell, Alu with yet another one. And now it's down to Moddy. Can he finally get a kill on the board? It's going to be a rough ask. He's quite static in Team 8. Moving out may very well cost him his life. We've already seen Alu at the back. Alongside Carrigan watching. Alu is going to get spotted, but Moddy can't connect the dots. Yet another round to phase and Heroic into another recap. Yeah, just the ops for phase right now are doing work. Like Carrigan picking up the second one here. It's actually, they have just so much control of the outside bomb site. Even when they didn't go fast before. Uh, Kerrigan's just opping Ivy and they simply locked that down. Alu's just pretty much can dedicate inner since like, Kerrigan's outside, so the setup working super well. Finally grabbing some deagles here is heroic. Gonna try fighting back for some pistols. And as we've kind of came to expect from the previous ecos, it should be a complete bloodbath. Be impressive if Rock can get more than a single kill in this round. Kerrigan. With a couple of nice flicks with the AWP, and that will leave Freeze on one health, and Nico with it all to do. He does have a Deagle, and I think Freeze is picking up a second Deag, so they do have that one tap power. But face economy as well, like it's not even a case that they're super low here, they're, they're struggling for funds. I mean, they've got players on well over 11k, Alu's nearly on 15k himself. So even if the 1D came in, it's not that much of an issue for FaZe. 8 to 1, and this is looking... As uh, easy as you like, honestly. Yeah, they're looking comfy here for sure. And I think Heroic just needs to go back to almost like the. I think the first gun round they like started working Ivy control and just you know kind of defaulted a little bit. But they've tried like multiple fast strats and they've been shut down every single time. So going through Ivy here, I like this. We'll we'll see how it develops. Flashing really fast, Moddy. Moddy's definitely not afraid to just like hold W and run in. He's actually not having any impact right now, but on some of the rushes that they've gone with, Moddy is just fully no fear holding W, and I can really appreciate a player that's like, you know, dedicating himself to just get in there and get frags. Nice boost over. It means Carrigan needs to watch two separate angles. Alder's on his right, Moddy on his left. The thing is though, he knows that out these remaining four players, there's quite a lot of investment over on the Ivy side. He's about to get beat. Oh, misses out on the flick, and Moddy is going to get his first kill. Welcome to the scoreboard. Hopefully many more to follow. This also puts Rain in a pretty sketchy position, knowing he has multiple angles to cover, but he's going to be A-OK -okay with that first kill. Meanwhile, Alu on the wrong side of the smoke as far as he's concerned right now. Checking his uh, teammate's backside out as Kyo is looking towards the E-Box. There are two players in close proximity, one of which is Nico on 21. The other is Snappy. Who has just bit the dust, courtesy of Akio. Headshot delivered first class. This incendiary could force Nico out into the open. He needs to be careful that it doesn't spread to him. He's okay for now. And Moddy's still alive for a few more seconds as Alu 
will disperse of him, or dispatch of him, I should say. And phase move to 9 and 1. It's just hard to really get excited for Heroic. They haven't really shown a great deal. Yeah, man. Uh, Madi was watching for that Ivy flank that entire time. And then Alu just stayed behind the bomb train for so long and then finally made his way to Ivy. And that's exactly when Madi turned around and was checking bomb train. But at the start of that round there, Freeze went for a peek at Ivy. And there was zero team play going into that peek. Like, you know they're running double ops. You know there's going to be an off at Ivy. Why are you just dry peeking Ivy? Like, throw a flash, have a teammate jump across before you just dry peek. And, you know, if there's an opera posted on you... You know, I think like eight times, eight times out of ten, the guy that's posted is gonna win that battle. So I didn't like how Freeze just decided to just peek without any team play. A worrying right sign for me as well is that Freeze is also on one for ten, and this this is a guy, of course, that will pick up the orb. And when your orb is struggling on train, something's something's not right because this this is the, the kind of a map where orbs can really shine. I mean, you're seeing Alu and Carrigan both with orbs, twenty-five kills mm -hmm. between the two of them. They're currently at the top of the scoreboard for their team. Yeah, so, I mean, this is rough for Freeze. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, he really hasn't had much um, time to really even work his op, though. Or even had, I think that might have been, like, one of his first few ops. And like I said, they, they've done a lot of fast strats. So, like, if you have an opper that can get some opening picks, you need to give him time to work with and make sure no one else on the, the, the map dies. Take some map control and then give your opper some time to work with. But sure. it's not happening yet. That's the weird thing. The one round they did win, Freeze had an open team main and they rushed A. It was, it was very odd. So even the round they won, they <laughs> yeah. didn't really give him any time to uh, to go for picks. AZ though with the spray through the smoke, he's going to get both of them. He needs to be careful. The molly behind him is going to do some serious damage, but he is just fine. With a whole bunch of health left. Nicely done, but it is against pistols at the end of the day, so I can't get too carried away about that. Meanwhile, Freeze, Moddy, both trying to hold down the bathroom. Was some CT aggression momentarily, but the bomb is also dropped in a horrific position, and AZ should be uh, just fine to, to hold this off. There's no flashes to even pop flash in, so he's he's basically single-handedly able to just win this round outright in the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had even Alu was disrespecting a little bit. He was trying to flank with an op at inner. Saw some people in bathrooms he's backing off now. Not able to connect on Freeza, who's pushing inner pretty aggro. Yeah, Freeze very nearly did take down Alu there, just down to 4 health, and the email Valde is dead on the other side, and as soon as his position was compromised, it was only a matter of time. AZ with 4, Heroic back into another round. This is where Freeze will have another AWP. Come on, Freeze. Show us what you're capable of. Dude, he's a, a solid AWP. I'm, I'm surprised he's even one on 11, but maybe Heroic are going to play a little slower, allow him to get some picks, see what he can get done. Yeah, and it was kind of interesting too that one round they five Glock saved, no flashes, no upgraded pistols at all. The very next round they just went into like a super super fast rush. So like your utility doesn't even matter. Like you could have even bought like pistols, flashes, get a get a bomb plant down. Like if you're gonna rush the next round, like you just need to have guns out and just have a, a very few amount of nades for your rush. Not nades, some does no damage. It like it may very well land by the legs of two players' face. I'm not going to claim the first kill, courtesy of Carrigan's AWP. Not for the first time, it should be mentioned. And Rain knows there are at least a couple players there. He, he saw the boost earlier, or at least he heard the boost. Jump over, and then has seen a couple of grenades fly his way. So I think they're going to realise generally what the strat is at this point. They're forcing them back with a few nades of their own. And Moddy, Freeze, and Valder are going to have to hold fire for now. It's surprising me that Carrigan actually goes for that peak. He's going to cost him his life and also the life of Rain. That seems a bit self-inflicted by FaZe. Maybe the confidence is running a bit too high. But in doing so, it could be a third kill to AZ, who is good for one kill, but no more. Alu up on the train. He's going to deliver the first shot, bringing it back to a 2-1-2. And Kiyoshima is there for another one. So Freeze now, the man that we highlighted is... Having a bit of a, a struggle performance. Now has to try and clutch a 1v2. He has just seen the barrel of the gun sticking through from heaven. At least I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has. Yo, this is the shot. And FaZe are oh, going to take an 11th. And I feel like that was Horrocks' best chance so far. Yeah, I mean, FaZe made a big mistake by just double peeking Ivy there. Not even a big mistake, but... You know, you could just tell how confident they were being up 10-1. They're just like, hey, you know, let's just double peek through the smoke, whatever. You know, we know that they have a lot of Ivy. Let's kill everyone at Ivy before they, you know, pinch us elsewhere. And, you know, they both died and they still lost the round. 
Or they, they won the round after losing both people. Yeah, it's quite surprising to me. And here comes another pistol rush. Modi switching his weapons to get his life lost as a result. AZ, in the meanwhile, alongside Ali, will dispatch of aggressing terrorists. Carrigan's still positioned at the back and towards Ivy. And there's Kyo with a triple spray at the end to finalize the round. And well then, face. I mean, they're on point. I got a bit of deja vu here, I'm not going to lie. We saw Astralis have a very similar performance yesterday on train. They, they won 14-1, I think, in the first half and ended mm -hmm. up taking it convincingly in the end. Yeah, the only round Heroic has won is that big, massive 4K from Valde, so... Nothing to really even look what's been working for them. But even the one round, uh, the previous round where they got double picks at Ivy, there's a lot of action happening here. Keo getting pushed back in there, taking Brown Hall control. But Kerrigan has so much information on Ivy. He pushed Ivy solo with the op and is opping all the way into T spawn here. So look at this rotation coming from phase here. Rain's coming into enter. We have Alu coming to rotate with his op. And then AZ just going to maintain the bomb control and maintain health control outside. But I mean, Heroic's going to get smashed here unless there's some really beautiful entries coming out. And Vald is the only player, really. He's, he's on 10 for 12. The only player that's even remotely close to any of the scores on phase. It's more than double anyone else in his team, but here comes the push. It's going to be fast, it's going to be furious. And hopefully for Heroic, it's going to be effective. Nico's the only player to have got a kill so far. Val can see the heads peeking up. Does take a shot. And that's going to give his position away. AZ doesn't seem to realize that he's being encircled on, but Valda has missed out on his first chance. Gets it on the second time of asking. His teammate has been picked off, though, and the bomb is starting to get defused. Kiyoshima probably has this, and indeed he will. When it rains, it pours. Heroic just so can't seem to catch a break. They get through onto the site. They get the kills. But then, at the last hurdle, they trip over. Yeah, they were outplayed before the execute even started, to be honest. I mean, at this point... You know, FaZe is just doing whatever they want, and it's just not being punished by Heroic. <laughs> nice little jump peek from Alu, not peeking the usual, you know, being on the just the ground level, jumping on top of that train stop. Uh, he kept caught threes off guard, big time. And Kerrigan pushing Ivy again. The confidence right now for Kerrigan just clear out Ivy himself. And wow, actually look at the scoreboard here. Keo is 16 and 2. I didn't realize how insane Keo was, was doing right now. Impressive, yeah. So heroic, I mean, as we just mentioned earlier, that Freeze is having a, a real struggle. I think that peak, the 1v1 peak, with Alu getting the upper hands, is pretty much sums it all up there. One guy feeling yeah. it, another not. There's Alu with another one. He doesn't seem to be missing right now. Everything is landing. And, uh, well, Heroic Swoes can seem to continue on and on. It's Again, it's hard to really get hype about anything that's happened this map. It's just been phase smashing them. And this is Heroic who just beat SK, by the way. Sure, it was on a cobblestone, I believe, not train, but still. To go from a, an SK victory to a, a landslide loss, as you assume this will be. Real turn of events. Yeah, I think Heroic, I mean, their default's not looking great on their T side. And I think they could take a page out of like how Astralis works through default. Like, they are very efficient at taking Ivy control, but also Brown Hall control at enter, pushing back to CTs, making them feel uncomfortable. And there was multiple times where, like, only one guy was taking Brown Hall control, and, like, you know they're playing a double op setup, and one AK just decides to, like, walk enter, and you just have an op set up. They just, you know, if you're just dying walking enter by yourself against an op, like, there's clearly um, just some wrong setups or just some inexperience on those peaks. What's, what's also very scary to me is, I was just checking there how many players were left alive in each round. There were a lot of rounds there where FaZe was surviving with four or five players that like weren't even remotely close. So it's, it's not a case you can say, oh, Heroic, you know, they could have had five or six rounds easy there. Not really. That was as shut up as you like. And all you have to do is look at the score and you see everyone double digits. Freeze 1 and 15. On train, that is so brutal. And now FaZe will be charging the way onto the site. Snappy's gonna land the first shot. Maybe this is the beginning of something special. Just playing for a bit of reputation, playing for a bit of pride at this stage. Carrigan and Keo 
Last two remaining members for phase. Kyo has been tagged. Carrigan looking for that one tap onto Snappy. It's not going to be forthcoming. Kyo is now going to be taken down next. And Hiroko will double their round score. So they're going to be on two. This is their way back in. But they're going to take it round at a time. Now it's going to be a, a long, scary, scary climb back. It's a comeback. You're calling it right now, huh? <laughs> no, but I, it's surprising like how how off heroic looks after such a big win over SK, right? Like just individually, they just look so uh, below FaZe. FaZe just looks so on point with every one of their shots uh, compared to Heroic. Like strate strategically, Heroic wasn't like completely awful on their T side, but just every single battle was just being won by FaZe. Yeah, that's, that's it, really. I mean, FaZe have just been a cut above. It, they're a hard team to play against, I guess, when they're all on form like this. They are a very talented bunch of players. So we were talking about earlier when they were playing against Cloud9. When they're feeling it, tough to stand up against them. Rivaldo is going to be forced back for the time being. A lot of smoke's being placed in the site. And a three-pronged attack is coming to fruition. Keo goes in first with Rain. Meanwhile, they've got two players, which is AZ and Alu coming up. Ivy. Rain's going for the bomb, and he will get it planted. So that's pretty solid, all things considered. That's two plants out of two rounds. And they're doing damage. Modi's down to two. In the meanwhile, the rest of his team is trying to clean up these pesky terrorists. It's Rain with the MP, all that stands. Any kills from here on out is a huge bonus for the terrorists. Is he going to be getting any? No. But with a bomb planted and two kills, job done. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a good second round strat to run. Phase smoke walling the entire bomb site, getting that bomb down. I mean, if you looked at heroic second round, they decided to pretty much buy zero nades, and they just walk out in her, which just got mowed down completely. So, I mean, just looking strategically here, phase looking way better too on the T side. Yeah, absolutely. Even the two rounds they lose, it's bomb plants. It's sticking it to the CTs. So this is the first big rifle test for Heroic. It's, as a result, the two plants as well. Ali's able to get an AWP with full nades, Kevlar, everything he could possibly want. So this is, is going to be a steep climb. That's the start right here, right now. Round by round. When they get up towards 10, that's where maybe they'll begin to believe. But for the time being, it's going to be difficult. And Rain has claimed the first kill. Valda is down the playmaker, the talisman, the linchpin is no more in round 18. This could be the last straw for Heroic. Alu's been tagged, so both Rain and Alu are low in team main. That's not a bad turn of events, and carrigan has gone down, so maybe they can pull this wolf back, but then AZ sneaks his way up through Ivy. No one watching it, and Snappy gets caught napping, and down he will go. Meanwhile, Rain on top of the train is going to take down Freeze. Kyo with another one, and now it's all on Modi. And phase step one foot closer to winning this and going 2-0 at the top of group B. That is the power of Ivy right there. Just making all the CT sweat. AZ coming out of Ivy, killing someone in the back. Makes the sandwich guy look at Ivy. Then the sandwich guy get flanks from gets flanked from T mid. Um I, I did like the play that Valde did at middle there. He ended up dying. But they ended up doing a pretty cool control on the T-Con. They smoked the right side of T-Con where the guy usually ops and then mollied behind the box. And if you are going to make a comeback in this match, you're going to have to establish your dominance. So, um, Valde trying to get T-Connector there. Not making it happen, but I really did like the uh, thought process. Yeah, A for effort. Unfortunately, execution wasn't quite there. Ace is going to go down. And that is going to be to a very aggressive peak from uh, Modi up on the Ivy side. Ali's going to look to return fire. He has to be so careful here. Modi goes out looking at Ali. It's one of the first times we've seen him miss. Oh, he hits the shot and Freezy pushes through the smoke. Okay, then. Nicely done. Freeze will live for now. 22 health. And he's pushing right up around the back of Ali. And we'll get the drop. Oh, and Ali just no. spins around and lands the frag. In the meanwhile, though, it's going to be a two-pronged... Trap. Well, they're coming up from the stairs on the ladder. But the boss planted, and he needs to pick off this one on three now. He's already got one. Three more players to find, and it's not going to happen. Phase with a, almost a flawless performance, honestly. Horog did not stand a chance. Very impressive.
that 1v1, Alu versus Freeze. Freeze comes up behind him, gets like three shots off before Alu can even turn around. That just explains, that 1v1 just explains the entire match. Pretty much. It's hard to allow.